basic principle of laser the basic principle of laser are absorption spontaneous emission and stimulated emission laser is a light matter interaction that is light interact with matter matter means a material medium when light interact with a material medium these three process takes place absorption spontaneous emission and stimulated emission so consider a cavity this is a cavity which is filled with atoms so if you shine this cavity with a torch when the torch light falls on this cavity or on the atoms and the atoms will absorb this light or the electrons of the atoms will absorb this light so light means it is photons so its energy is given by E is equal to H nu when the electrons of these atoms absorbs this H nu energy these three process takes place so laser is a light matter interaction and we can study these three process so first we are considering the energy levels of an atom so every physical system has energy levels so we are considering the two different energy state of an atom so first this state it is the lowest state it is E1 and this is E2 this is E1 and it is E2 this is the lowest state and this is the highest state and this state is called a ground state it is called a ground state and it is called excited state this state is called excited state so normally all the atoms are in the ground state these are the atoms in the ground state because the ground state is the state having minimum energy so minimum energy means other stable state on a pillow other one to the name a lot of so normally ground state like excited state the atom cannot stay for a long time because it is an unstable state or high energy state normally atoms wouldn't irikyu anna then when these atoms are interacts with the light the atoms light water interact in so light in normal it is photons and it has some energy h nu when this atoms interact with this light then these atoms or the electrons of this atom absorb this h nu energy h nu energy absorb in ball it the atoms or the electrons it got some energy so energy getum ball in the some working in one night e lowest energy state minimum energy state will not be able to get it but e h nu energy in one ball this h nu energy when this h nu energy it is equal to e2 minus e1 e2 minus e1 state in a r difference in a equivalent to h nu energy absorb it all if this h nu is less than e2 minus e1 the atom cannot get maximum energy to go to this state so if the atom absorb at least energy equal to e2 minus e1 that is h nu is equal to the difference between these two energy levels angana anengil ee atathin endu cheyam ee atathin ee state il ninnu higher state like pogam excited state like pogam if this h nu energy is less than e2 minus e1 this atom it cannot go to this upper state it can only stay in the lower state allengil h nu nakal koodal anengil madinu higher state like pogam minimum it should be e2 minus e1 ane anengil this atom will be in now in this position that is it will goes to this position from the lower state or even state the atom will go to the upper state e2 state and this process is called absorption or it is called induced absorption or induced absorption this process is called because here the absorption is induced by a photon that is called induced absorption that is absorption means normally the atoms are in the lower state because the lower state is the minimum energy state so angane ulla atathina ee light vaayittu interact cheyumbol idu ee light il ninn energy absorb cheyidund 
ആറ്റം മീൻസ് ആറ്റത്തിൽ ഇലക്ട്രോൺസ് ഹയർ സ്റ്റേറ്റിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നു ഹയർ എനർജി സ്റ്റേറ്റിലേക്ക് പോകുന്നു ആ പ്രോസസ്സിനെയാണ് അബ്സോർഷൻ ഓർ ഇൻഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് അബ്സോർഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദെൻ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രോസസ് അബ്സോർഷൻ ദെൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പ്രോസസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പ്രോസസ് ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ എനർജി സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇ വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇ ടു ദിസ് ഈസ് ഇ വൺ ആൻഡ് ഇ ടു ഇൻ ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പ്രോസസ് നൗ ദ ആറ്റം ഈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് പൊസിഷൻ നൗ ദ ആറ്റം ഈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് പൊസിഷൻ so this atoms it can stay here for a very short period of time that is this atom can stay about 10 raised to minus 8 second at this state excited state because excited state means it is a high energy state atathin excess energy at ani ee state like irikkuna then aa atathin ee 10 raised to minus 8 second mathrame ee excited state il irikkan pattu then after that 10 raised to minus 8 second the atom should come to the ground state by emitting this excess energy a excess energy vaayittu varan pattilla adond a excess energy should emit a emission nadakkunnathu this after 10 raised to minus 8 second spontaneous aayittu irikkum spontaneously it emits the excess energy and this process is called spontaneous emission idineyana സ്പോണ്ടേനിയസ് എമിഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ദ സെക്കൻഡ് പ്രോസസ് അതാണ് സ്പോണ്ടേനിയസ് എമിഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നൗ ദ ആറ്റം ഈസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദ ആറ്റം ഈസ് നൗ ഇൻ ദിസ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇവിടെയാണ് ആറ്റം സോ ഹിയർ ദി സ്പോണ്ടേനിയസ് എമിറ്റ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ദിസ് എമിറ്റ് ദ എച്ച് ന്യൂ ഫോട്ടോൺ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ എമിറ്റ് ദ എച്ച് ന്യൂ ഫോട്ടോൺ absorbed so the first one is induced absorption the second one is spontaneous emission here the atom spontaneously emits the photons it absorbed then the third process there is another process now the atom is in the excited state this is the state then we are what we are doing this is these are the two different energy state so we are just stimulating this atom excited atom with another photon we are just stimulating this excited atom with another photon that is we are just stimulating this with a photon the photon has an energy h nu the same energy as the incident photon then this excited atom what happens is because of the stimulation of this photon the atom it will comes to the ground state the in this case the atom has two different photons one is the excited state it has a single photon as an energy h nu and the stimulated photon also that is the two photons will be emitted so in the excited state atom if we stimulate the excited atom with another photon then the atom emit these two photons that is the photon in the excited state sorry the atoms in the excited state are a photon and the external stimulating photon these two photons emitting and these two photons are in the uh, same phase same energy and same frequency and hence this will be coherent but this process is called stimulated emission stimulated means by the help of an external agency external stimulation this process takes place and it is called a stimulated emission so these are the basic process first one is absorption second one is spontaneous emission and the third one is stimulated emission so here we can represent this process also so let us consider the atom as a a is a atom in this state ground state then for the first process that is absorption we can represent this absorption as this is an atom in the ground state a we are interacting the atom with a photon having energy h nu that is the photons in this the atoms are in this range we are interacting with a photon h nu then it will becomes a excited state it will goes to the excited state that is an excited atom this can be represented as a star this is <clears throat> the representation of absorption 
a plus h nu gives a star a star is the excited atom then for the spontaneous emission it takes place in a star that is excited atom then it is goes to a plus h nu this is spontaneous emission and the stimulated emission is a star plus h nu again giving h nu so gives a plus 2 h nu this is stimulated emission and the absorption means the single atom plus h nu we are giving h nu energy or interacting with the light it will become it will goes to the excited state the excited atom will be this spontaneous emission means the excited atom it is spontaneously goes to the ground state atom that is a plus h nu spontaneously emitting h nu energy then stimulated emission means the excited atom we are again exciting or triggering or stimulating it with external agents h nu energy light another light photon then it will goes to the ground state the ordinary or the ground state atom with the excess energy 2 h nu so instead of 1 h nu here it becomes 2 h nu that is in this case second case for the spontaneous emission the process is uh, random it is not a controlled one uncontrolled one so hence the light wave may not be coherent here and we can consider this case also in this uh, medium what happens in the medium we can that we can consider the case this is a medium in which the atoms here the atom this is atom so first in the case of induced absorption we are just interacting these atoms with the photons the first step absorption takes place and in the second case this is the medium and here the atoms are in the excited state for the second case then what happens is after 10 is to minus 8 seconds the atoms they are coming to the ground state by emitting these photons uncontrolled way in the third process and this is the medium the atoms are in the excited state is star and we are interacting these excited atoms with another photons then it will comes with the two photons for each atoms this is the process takes place and it is the basic of laser so the stimulated emission takes place only if there is an absorption and spontaneous emission <coughs> so that is called that is why the stimulated emission is the basic principle or <coughs> the phenomenon of laser and we can here consider the multiplication process by a single pictorial representation here we consider the atom this is a simple atom so we are just interacting this atom with a photon then what happens is the photon will be absorbed by the atom and it will goes to the higher state and then after 10 is to minus 8 seconds it will spontaneously emits or if we radiate or if we stimulate it with an external photons then it will produce spontaneous emission stimulated emission then as a result of stimulated emission two light rays will be or two photons will be emitted and these two photons further it also interacts with the two more atoms then it will create for each atom two photons will be created then what happens is these two photons further interacts with two more atoms then for each atom one photon second photon for this atom these two photons and for these two atoms two four four photons takes place then these four photons further interact with four different atoms then it will produces for each atom two more photons and these four atoms also interact with four light waves also interact with four more atoms 
this will produce two more light so ingane oru light inde multiplication aanu ivada nadakkunnathu nokkuva oru single light oru photon oru atomine attract cheyunu adinde balamayitte spontane stimulated emission inde balamayitte single photon aanengil rendu photon emit cheyunu ivada oru single photon oru atomayitte interact cheyumbol ivada rendu photon emit cheyunu aa rendu photonum veendum oru atoms vaayitte interact cheyunu then appo ee atom vaayitte interact cheyumbol again rendu photon emit cheyunu then ee atom vaayitte interact cheyumbol veendum rendu photon ദെൻ ഈ ഒരു ഫോട്ടോൺ വേറൊരു ആറ്റവുമായിട്ട് വീണ്ടും ഇൻട്രാക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു അപ്പോൾ വീണ്ടും രണ്ട് ഫോട്ടോൺ ഈ ഒരു ഫോട്ടോൺ വേറൊരു ആറ്റവുമായിട്ട് ഇൻട്രാക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു വീണ്ടും രണ്ട് ഫോട്ടോൺ അങ്ങനെ ഓരോ ആറ്റംസ് ഇൻട്രാക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ലൈറ്റ് ഫോട്ടോൺസ് ഇവിടെ മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ നടക്കുകയാണ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഓഫ് ലൈറ്റ് വേസ് ദി എക്സ്പ്ലൈസ് സോ ഇതാണ് സ്റ്റിമുലേറ്റഡ് എമിഷനിലെ ലേസ് റാക്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ഇവിടെ തന്നെ വി ക്യാൻ കൺസിഡർ ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ഫോട്ടോൺസ് എമിറ്റൺ ഹിയർ ഒള്ളി വൺ ഹിയർ ടു ഹിയർ ഫോർ ഹിയർ Eight here sixteen. That is, it can be represented as one. One is two raised to zero. One here two. Two means two raised to one. Here four photons. That is two raised to two. Here eight. Two raised to three. Here sixteen photons. Two raised to four. That is the multiplication of photons takes place. And this will be highly coherent and highly intensive and highly directional waves. the final will be so that is the laser so laser means it is the multiplication of photon takes place in laser action